Hey kids, I'm here in the kids ministry room uh, with all the fun stuff to play. The only thing missing is you guys. So I just wanted to send out a quick video to tell you that all of our volunteer team miss you guys very, very much. We can't wait till we can get together again on Wednesdays and Sundays and hang out, have some fun and learn about the Word of God. So, um, you know, some things are going around lately and I just thought I'd address that. Um, if you've seen the news or heard anything that maybe scares you, I just want to tell you one thing. God is bigger. He's bigger than anything we're going through. He's bigger than anything your family's going through. He's even bigger than this virus and what we're going through as a nation. So remember that God is bigger. I want to tell you about an amazing story that happened in the Bible. Actually, this is what happened. One day, Jesus sent his disciples, his students, across the lake. They were in this huge, they were in this boat going across this huge lake, rowing across. And all of a sudden, this big storm came up and the wind started blowing and the waves got bigger and they started rocking back and forth. And they were getting kind of scared because of the storm. Well, check this out. Not only was there a big storm, but it was the middle of the night. Did I mention that? Yeah, it was nighttime. So they couldn't even really see much. All of a sudden, they see this guy walking across the water right, right near them. And they freaked out. They thought, oh my gosh, it's a ghost. Ah! So now they're scared about the wind and the waves and the storm and the darkness. And now they're freaked out because they think a ghost is walking across the water. It's pretty funny. Jesus actually says, hey, it's me. Don't freak out. And of course, they're still freaking out, right? So one of Jesus' friends, his name was Peter. He says, if it's you, Lord Jesus, tell me to come out on the water and walk to you. And what did Jesus say? You're right. He said, go for it. So Peter gets out of the boat and he starts walking toward Jesus. Yeah, Peter, he's not even the son of God like Jesus is. He's just a normal dude. He starts walking across the water. And you know he's doing really good until one thing happens. And this is something we can never do when we're facing the storms of life. We can't take our eyes off of Jesus. He started looking around at the wind and the waves and guess what happened? When he took his eyes off Jesus, what do you think happened? Yep, you're right. He started to sink. And as he started to sink below the waves, he cried out, Lord, save me. And so Jesus takes a few steps forward. He grabs a hold of him, picks him up, and says, why are you freaking out? You're with me. And this is a cool part. The two of them together, arm in arm, turn around and walk back towards the boat and climb in the boat. As soon as they get in the boat, whew, the winds stop, the waves stop rocking, everything gets calm and now the guys in the boat are their eyes are this big and they're just like who is this guy and jesus says guys why are you freaking out i'm the king of kings i'm the lord of lords you don't need to be afraid i will always be with you so the key in all of this that we're going through is to keep our eyes on jesus what's that you say how do i keep my eyes on jesus that is a good question because I can't actually physically see Jesus in front of me. Here's how I keep my eyes on Jesus. First of all, I worship. I either sing or listen to worship music as often as I can. Just words and songs that speak about God's greatness and how He will never leave us and He's always with us. That's the first thing. Number two, when I'm feeling a little afraid and I'm an adult and I'm walking with God, but there are times I feel a little afraid. It's okay to feel that. But what I do when I feel that is I start to pray and I ask God to help me see Him again and remember that He is bigger than whatever me or my family or our church or our nation is going through. And the third thing is, I go to the Bible. You're right. Basic instructions before leaving earth. I remind myself that in God's Word are truths about God and about His relationship with me and how He loves me and my family wants to take care of us, and that takes the worry away. So in the midst of all the things that are going on, the virus, the staying at home, the distance learning at school, not being able to see our friends at church or school, all those things that are going on, I'm honestly not freaking out. And the reason is I am keeping my eyes on Jesus. And I'm encouraging you to do the same thing. In fact, the guy Matthew, who wrote the story in the Bible of what happened with Peter and Jesus walking on the water, he's the same guy at the very end of his gospel, the gospel of Matthew. 
he says something that Jesus said to his disciples before Jesus left to go to heaven and prepare a place for them. Jesus said this, guys, I'm always with you. Don't worry. Don't be afraid. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. So kids, I just want to encourage you. Hopefully, if you start to feel a little bit nervous, you hear some things on the news, you take it to God, you remember worship, you remember prayer, and you remember the Word of God, and let that Word penetrate your hearts and your minds and realize that God is bigger and His love is greater than anything we're going through. We love you and miss you. Can't wait to see you.